Hi, and welcome to Lessons from a Reporting Maestro, the third challenge in SAP's Report-a-Palooza Festival. My name is Jamie Oswald, and I'm bringing you the advanced user topic of SQL Command Data Sources today. You may remember me from the monster sighting dashboard I created for the first challenge in Report-a-Palooza. Uh, hopefully you're following me on Twitter at OswaldXXL, and hopefully you've forgotten the humorous but embarrassing anecdote about me having a rat tail in eighth grade from the first video. Don't have too much time to reminisce on that though, so let's go ahead and scoot over to Crystal Reports where I've got a, a simple report set up here with a, a data layout of a band name, the decade that they came, became famous, and the genre that they're part of. Um, at least according to me, we can, uh, I suppose, debate that in the comments. Um, and so this is a, a pretty standard layout. This sort of thing allows you to group by decade or by genre. Um, but not both of those things independently. Uh, so if a user has a, a need for that sort of thing, I recommend going to a SQL command data source to, to solve that. So let's go ahead and create a new report. We're going to go into our database connection and we add a command. So what this basically lets you do is add an inline query right into your into your CRISPR report. And uh, I'm pasting in here a simple union command that I had which uh, normalizes the data a little bit uh, and I'll show you what those results look like here in a second so commands are very useful for uh, union queries which crystal doesn't handle very elegantly out of the box um, if you have really complex uh, filters that you need to apply and you want to put those conditions deep into the SQL to make things run faster it's very good for that. It's, uh, it's really got a lot of, of good uses uh, in terms of speeding up your reports because you could really get your hands right into that SQL and, and make it as complex as, as you want to. So as you can see, we took the, uh, the data from our first spreadsheet and gave each band two rows instead of one, one row that talks about which genre it is and one row which talks about which decade it is. Uh, and so that's what our command did was it, it really took our, our one data set and turned it on its side like this. Now what this allows us to do is we can go ahead and insert a group for that type and we can insert a group for the group by which is of course the actual uh, value of the genre or the decade and what this gives us is the opportunity to summarize the number of bands that fall into each but we can do it at the same time so it's uh it's one pass through but uh, you can see the B52 show up in the alternative genre and they also show up in the 1980s um, so if we hide that that'll make it a little easier for for you all to see so we can copy our summary up and you can see how each uh, genre and decade were, were broken out as far as the number of bands in our database. So the next trick I'm going to show you is how to put a parameter into a SQL command. So let's go back into that command and creating a parameter is really really simple. So we just want to say starts with and this will be the first letter in the band's name and we're going to pretend that our end user really wants to be able to select uh, you know the bands by their first initial so we double click on the parameter and, and inserts it over here we'll go ahead and and use that parameter to make a selection in each half of our union query so we'll say where the left band name just the first character equals that start with now since this is a string value we do have to enclose it in the uh, tick marks that will drive you bad if you forget that one 
So let's go ahead and copy that where clause up to the first half of our union as well uh, because we want it to be selective. Although obviously you could you could uh, create a different uh, a parameter and, and a whole different selection criteria. In fact, we're going to go ahead and do that. It's going to give us a, an option for the S there. So we'll go ahead and say OK. And as you can tell, we have a lot lot fewer options here. So if we show our details again, you can see that only bands that start with the letter S show up. If we refresh, we'll know that our parameters are working because we'll pick, um, well, let's just pick A's and see who shows up. And there you have it. Uh, SQL commands can solve your uh, your really complex uh, problems, and you can even put parameters in them to uh, to speed things along. So thanks a lot, and we hope you enjoy the rest of Report of Palooza.